Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Orbs. Good luck. This opponent prefers to play Bishop Exchange, and in my first attempt at recording this, I mentioned how fun it could be to try playing Central File Rook. So, guess what we're playing? We're going to play Central File Rook, even though it might not be well advised here. Um, let's put some pressure over here, too. Okay. Now, I have messed up a key aspect here, and that I'm going to have to block my bishop so this doesn't hang. Normally you bring this silver out early, but since I play every opening these days, I find it hard to keep straight which opening involves which moves. So, here we are. And there's my silver. Slowly making inroads. Not really adding a ton of pressure at all. Even though that's it's supposed to be adding pressure, but that's not what it's doing here. Now this is interesting. Um, this pressure might backfire if I can control that square. Uh, I'm not sure that I can. All right, so they block their knight. I've created a hot mess. This is what I've created. Um, all right. Now, if I move this, well, I don't see how this loses material. But I have a nagging feeling that moving this is risky because normally you'd prefer your pieces be in some other configuration here. On the other hand, our opponent still hasn't finished their castle, so if I could land a hit, it could hit pretty hard. I just don't know if I could land one. Um, mm -hmm. Sure. Now yeah, this is a sharp position. All right, we'll just slowly encroach on the king. Interesting. Enough. Screw it. Let's have some fun. This is wildly dangerous since my king is on the edge of the board. But doing nothing is also dangerous. So... I am preferring a course of action over inaction here. Um... Hmm. 
and then I cover this square. All according to plan. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we'll take one step backward. Right. And so I don't want to do another step backward, but what choice do I have? Okay, here I am in full retreat. Uh -huh. Might as well take that one, right? And use the rook. And back we go. This is awkward. Hmm. So they keep hitting the square. Um. Okay, I hit the bishop. Man, I'm creating all kinds of weaknesses. How exciting. Gofun. <laughs> oh fuck. I forgot what my target was. Maybe it's still fine though. Probably I should have stuck with my original plan of a pawn drop here, they promote and I take a pawn, but I don't know. That didn't look appetizing. In retrospect, this doesn't look much better. But hey, I get another piece. So if, as long as I manage to put down a wall of pawns to keep out my opponent, what's the worst fate that could befall me? Um, interesting. We'll use a pawn to oppose this pawn. No ambition here. If I get too ambitious, they have this bishop check. Um, okay, we'll use a pawn to oppose the rook. Let's just get my pieces out of- oh fuck. Wait, no, this knight fork is protected by my gold. My rather irregularly placed gold. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
This gold is such a hero with these pawns blocking out the knight. It's the hero we didn't know that we needed until now we know. And it's just in the perfect spot. Now granted, maybe a pawn drop might have somehow improved this. I don't know. Um, I have a knight drop if I'm stupid. Sampun. Man, this game's kind of like football. Look at my king running down the field. Go, king, go. You can do it. Um, okay, there's a fork here. Are we done setting traps yet? Or are there more traps? There must be more traps somewhere here. There's a tactic here somewhere, but where? I, mm, I have ideas. Nifun. Uh, our opponent has a pawn now, so it's not as easy for me to collapse this as it might have been earlier.
because they can drop a pawn to frustrate my efforts. Hmm. My play is less than stellar, isn't it? No, 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 they're threatening stuff. Mm. Eat boom. Mm. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Should have gone toward the king. Jubio.
Fuck. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I messed this up. Thanks for the game. I moved the wrong way. I should have moved my dragon toward the king. One down, two to go. Good luck. I'm very confused. Let's try this. Uh, I maybe once have played it, but regularly no, and I don't remember the rules. I could try it sometime, but I don't recall it. Yeah. 
It's unfortunate the way last game resolved. There just was, after I made my mistake, there was no recovering. Um, so as long as they have this pawn, and as long as I control this square, I can drop a bishop and threaten some nasty stuff. Earlier I was debating, do I drop a pawn here or not? And I didn't think that luring the gold over would make enough of a difference. I now see I was mistaken. Like, bishop drop here would be pretty nice if this gold were over one. <laughs> I mean, we've got the clip of me playing Go, right? We've all seen the clip. But yeah, if you go look back in my Twitch highlights or something, you'll find that I played a game where I captured 10 stones in one turn or something. So, I know how the pieces move. Or do I? Wait, how do the pieces move again? Uh, but yeah, on play okay, I could try it. I think... Doesn't... what was that Python chess variants site? Doesn't that have Makruk as well? I think. Um, Alright. Oh no. My gold is hanging. Alright, let's move it. We wouldn't want that to be hanging now, would we? I'm playing with fire a bit here, so yeah, they could drop a bishop to attack this another time, and I drop a pawn behind it. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right, they've defended against my fork. Now, there's no... the opponent doesn't have a pawn in hand. So... wait, hang on. I could move the knight up again. They could attack my advanced knight, and we could exchange some pieces and have quite a party here. A party where only one player's king is in danger. That sounds like a fun party. As long as it's not my king in danger. Oh, did I trap my bishop? And am I exchanging it for a silver? Eh. Such is the cost of a party. Maybe I should have looked a little deeper instead of bragging. But then, would we really have a live stream? You guys all want me to make mistakes. I mean, you want me to win, but, like, where's the fun in winning if there are no mistakes? So, yeah, if they hit the bishop, I probably drop a pawn here. They take, I take, they take, I drop a silver here, they do something, and I find a way to keep attacking. Something like that. Oh, alright, they're attacking. Oh, that's a fork. That is one nasty fork. Damn. I'm impressed. That shows just how stupid my madness is here. I let things get completely out of control. Alright. 
So let's attempt to control the flames. Even though there's really no pulling back on it. Uh -huh. All right, can have this pawn also. Oh, right. Gofun. That's how this game works. Oh, poo. Well, this this might not end well. We weren't using the bishop anyway. Let's try to use it. I think rook takes is forced due to tactics. Um... And then let's just hit the rook while everything's hanging. Let's hang another piece. And watch as they drop a bishop and now everything's really hanging. Um, and then we move the rook to hit the bishop, but then the silver moves to save the bishop and hit the rook. And no, that'd be silly. They'll take one of our pieces. We'll take this, unless it moves. Um, if it does move, then somewhere I have a tactic, maybe? Come on. We can't make it this far and have no tactic now. That would be anticlimactic. If I drop a pawn and then promote it, then this one doesn't get a chance to promote. Um, if I sack a knight, knight takes, pawn drop. They take one of my pieces, and now the rook still escapes. Um... All right, here we go. <laughs> Predictable tactic, right? Um, not quite as predictable tactic. We're exchanging two generals for one general. Truly, I'm a military genius. In fact, I don't even get the general for this either. So, that's something. Yep. Look at me, Hannibal, right over here. Well, I forgot they'd be able to drop a silver here to defend this. And now that they are going to have two silvers that they can use, not just one. So... Yeah, this might not be working. Maybe. I don't know. But then, like, my dragon escapes and they try to save their rook, and I drop a pawn and the rook keeps escaping, and maybe the pawn should have dropped here instead and then pushes there, but then the gold, but no, the pawn, and there's a knight. I don't know. Probably in this entire combination, my king is cooked, and none of this matters, but still. Oh. Uh, that's smart. Shit. I don't really have a choice. I have to take that. So I save a silver, uh, lose my gold. Probably I'm going to hang my rook by moving the knight up and taking this gold. And then they'll have to save their rook, maybe moving it over here. No, that doesn't save it. But, like, 
I don't think my initiative is going to be worth my rook. But I don't have any option to promote my rook anymore. This is pretty tragic. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can flag this guy. It's the circle of flags. It really is. I mean, that tells you something about the website and the players. So they're probably debating this bishop drop. They, I was going to say they might not have even seen this. Um, all right. Here we go. Totally sound rook sacrifice. The hell? That doesn't work. Sir? I don't think this works the way you think it works. Um... So, okay, they saved the king. Not a terrible idea. I'll take a general because I'm greedy. Also because I might need a general. Um, yep, I'm screwed. Alright, so how do I try to defend this? Nifun <laughs> Sanjibyo. Oh, man. Such a cool looking position, too. All right. Best defense is a good offense. Mm -hmm. Wait. Hang on. A tactic. I'm a genius. Nifun. All right. Did I deserve that? Maybe not. Was that forced? If the king had just run away, maybe... I don't know. Well, anyway, we're here now. Um... Okay, that's another fork. I'm just going to keep taking pieces. Because um, I haven't learned my lesson from last game. But also, how do you checkmate without pieces? Mm -hmm. My head hurts. <laughs> Soon after this game, my heart will also hurt. Who's going to win? I don't know. The viewers. The viewers win. Uh, why the hell not? Let's try that. That's safe, right? Sure is a good thing this pawn's here. You know I would just drop my dragon at some point to some fork. Actually, the fork here, I'd just be able to take a bishop. <sighs> yep. The circle of flags. All right, sorry about this. But not sorry enough to give up the game. Um. Ippun. Mm -hmm. 
What is Java good for? It is good for keeping you awake. Yeah, thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Let's get a proverb up here for visual interest. Good luck. Alright, so... Oh. Got one of these guys. Is this a move? Fuck if I know. Uh, no, that wouldn't be a move. Shit. This isn't good. My opponent is playing something aggressive, and I'm panicking. Alright. Just pretend we've got it all together. And then it'll be fine. Okay. I seem to remember Ishida, you put a pawn at the head of the formation to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Because um, I've tried this before without the pawn, and it just doesn't work. So. Just pro tip from an amateur here. If you're going to play that shape, put the pawn on the head of the formation. Otherwise, things could backfire. Mm hmm. Champion. Alright, so that has some kind of threat somewhere. Let's pretend that that is actually a severe threat and let's defend this point. Let's see. Okay, they're threatening this point with their heaviest piece. Um. Hmm. All right, this is some kind of reconstructed Ishida for modern times, where you cram both the bishop and the rook into this place where nothing can breathe. And then this diagonal becomes wide open. And... I guess once that gets shut down, we just go straight ahead here. Okay. What is this? Um. All right, your turn. Okay. I mean, that's not a terrible move. It doesn't do much other than save the knight, but... Um... Okay. Let's activate my bishop. Thanks for the game. Mistakes happen. We all make mistakes. The important thing is that you learn from your own mistakes. I'm sure I would do that too. I've done it before where I lose everything on that file because I forget to put the pawn in front of the rook and knight. So hopefully uh, that's a lesson we'll all bear. Not just me, the player, not just my opponent, but y'all now don't make the same mistake that I've made. So that was exciting, eh? Hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And have a good day.